Go. All right. So here we go. Dreamland? No, he's banning Dreamland. Challenge the 20XX hacks pack. Being able to uh, to ban stages like this, just like they got in PM. I really, I wish there were, I don't know. One of the neat things about PM is that, uh, about Project M, is that you have all this modding and stuff, and it's like, but you have to mod to get Project M, which means you see more. You don't see that in Melee, and there's so many cool things that we've been able to do with the Melee mods, with the 20XX hacks pack, even the color changing FD. I just love this. I love that FD changes color. It's a small touch, adds a little bit of color to a normally really dark stage. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to see. You know, and you got the you got the longer tags. They're just like, why not use it? If you have the capabilities, why not use it? Unfortunately, it's a you know you can just play vanilla melee. Hey, yeah. Playing vanilla PM takes a little bit more work. Hey. This fire master leaving the building. Uh, great showing by him today. Actually, placed he uh, tied for fifth, which is. Oh, ugh. Yeah. People keep moving this place. Uh, yeah. I'm turn the camera. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, Choco Milkman with yeah. a percent lead here, and he wasn't even killed Nana. So, he's basically got a half stock lead. Uh, it's, it's definitely a big win for him. Uh, especially here on FD. A very good stage for ice climbers. Why are they on FD? They're on FD because Choco Milkman is silly. If I were him, I would have banned Dreamland and FD. Uh, so that leaves you with Yoshi's Battlefield and... What am I missing? Can you head it out? Hey, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing me back to set early. Because we had the Harrison version, the link that guys came in early, and it was the only one that was set Oh, he's just gonna take it. We're like Mango, Evo 2013. You, uh, you just, you know, just pause and say, hey, okay, you got the stock. But you know what? Chocolate Milk was at low percent there. He could have mashed out. Uh, so I definitely would have liked to see him mash out instead of just taking the stock. Although I know Chocolate Milkman is a very, very, uh, he's a very, very mental player. He's got incredible mind for the game. Uh, it's part of why he's able to do so well in Smash 4. Um, and also, he's been playing it on 3DS since it came out. It's just uh, just on 4 Glory all the time. Oh, yeah, FOD. FOD is the other stage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they're on FD. They are on FD. Looking pretty close. Skywalker with the... So, Nana dead, but uh, Skywalker with a stock lead. He's a pretty high percent, though. Up throw. Yeah, he's too high percent for up throw. Up oh, can't quite get the strong hit of up air there. Well, the Nair in the back air, he's not going to be able to get back. But neither is Choco Milkman, and that's a great trade for Skywalker. Skywalker lost Sopo, uh, and he was at high percent. Choco Milkman lost a full stock, and he was at yeah, mid high percent. It's it sort of a early way for him to lose a stock, but that is what Skywalker does not want, and that is what Choco Milkman wants. As Fox, you want to be able to shine them, get those ice climbers separated, get Nana off stage. It's very, very easy to shine Gimp Nana. It's very, very easy to shine Gimp Sopo, honestly. I see Skywalker experimenting with Nero. Dies so early to up smash, just 94%. So Chaco Milkman only down by 52%. Lasers gonna run in and shine. Yeah, shine separates them so easily. Misses the shine on Nana that time. But oh, the save! What an incredible save by Skywalker! It's that kind of uh, that kind of icy knowledge. Oh, Nana! 
what happened to Nana there? That was very, very surprising. Alright, so Sopo versus Fox. What's gonna happen? Up Smash is gonna happen. And game one is gonna go to Chaco Milkman. So counter pick from Skywalker. Uh, I don't know where he's gonna go. I imagine a mod would or Chaco Milkman, excuse me, would ban Dreamland. Yoshi. Okay. Uh, I wow. Geico stocks. Geico stocks. Yikes. That is, uh, that is definitely demoralizing for, uh, for Skywalker. Hopefully he doesn't let it affect him. And hopefully he can just get those wobbles. Wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble baby. Oh, wow. Chaco Milkman making Skywalker work for this one. Down throw, forward smash, yeah. Down throw, forward smash. Finish the stop. Oh, and an SD by Chaco Milkman. See how that affects his mental resolve. If he's able to hang tight. Or Skywalker can take momentum here. Down throw, handoff. Oh. Wow, great mashing there by Chaco Milkman to get out of that. That could have very easily been a wobble by Skywalker, but he missed the setup once. Uh, and then the next time, ooh. Yeah, so he was still in hit stun. Fun thing is, while you're in hit stun, you can't air dodge. But you can wiggle the control stick really fast. And you get out of... I mean, not hit stun. Tumble. While you're in tumble animation, you cannot air dodge. But you can wiggle to get out of tumble. Uh, so you wiggle to get out of tumble, and that allows you uh, to then air dodge. And that's what Charlie needed to do. Uh, but he did not. Uh, but the wave dash forward smash is still working out for him. It's definitely working out for him. Oh, no. And an SD by Skywalker at 32%. <laughs> he had Chaco Milkman in a very, very bad position. Uh, Nana did the right thing and threw him off the stage. Oh, he wanted the wall. He was waiting for it. He tried. Chaco Milkman mashing for all he's worth. He knows that Skywalker is going to wobble if he gets the chance. He wants this game, he wants this win, and he wants to get to Losers Finals. Oh, up smash bear. Beautiful finish there by Skywalker. Alright, so here we go to game three. Uh, best of three. This is Loser Semis. So yeah, so there's loser semis on uh, Best of Three. This is the final game. Go to Battlefield. The classics. Just the classic stage Battlefield. <laughs> Chaco Milkman going for a very shine heavy strategy, and it's working. Especially on Nana. You get the one shine, you get him separated, and then Nana has a lot of trouble dealing with it. Alright, down throw. Misses the jab reset, but still gets it anyway. An missing another jab reset. Chaco Milkman choosing the second place. Up throw. And the delayed up air. Nice jump over Chaco Milkman. If he had jumped immediately, he wouldn't have gotten it. But he waited for Skywalker uh, to fall a little bit before going up there to meet him. Skywalker Battlefield. This is not the way you want to see Game 3 go. After Skywalker doing so well, uh, this would definitely be an awesome game. Down throw. Fighting these setups. Almost looked like a reverse aerial rush there. But, uh, this is great. Okay, so down throw, down smash takes uh, Chaco Milkman's first stock. But Skywalker already down to a stock and a half. He's a low percent, but he's with only a Popo. This Popo is going to have to do some serious work. So up throw in the delayed up air. No, 
feeling that Skywalker's gonna get down from the stage as fast as he can. Not able to drift back, and we see Chaco Milkman with a three to one stock lead. Ooh, wow, that looked away for a second. Chaco Milkman lost the stock. We see Chaco Milkman just run in, just run in, and shine's all, he, that's all he's gotta do. Skywalker, meanwhile, has to play very, very tight. As he wants him down, smashes into the things. Nair out of shield. Oh, misses the grab. He's still invincible from the ledge. <gasps> wobble? No, drops the wobble. Not able to get that off stage. <gasps> Just a raw down smash, and Skywalker is bringing this back. Only at 48%. But no. He's gotta get Nana back. He gets Nana back up air. Is she dead? She's dead. This could be the end for Skywalker. He's got a lot of ground to make up here. Up throw, up air. And that is the end of Skywalker. Chaco Milkman securing himself a spot in Loser's Finals. Very, very good game three. Skywalker played incredibly clutch there at the end, but Chaco Milkman just barely able to take it.